hello everyone welcome back to my channel lacy bay designs on this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful flan stop or rose stop so please if you are new here don't forget to hit the like button comment in the comment section and then share to friends as well so let's get started Okay, so these are the materials I'll be needing for the tutorials. Tape measure, scissors, pins, tailor's chalk, my ruler, and then the scuba fabric. The measurements I'll be using are bars 34 and then waist 28. So bars 34 divided by 4 will give me 8.5 plus 4 inches allowance. Please, the 4 inches I added is because two inches is for sewing allowance and then two inches is for that allowance okay so i'll be starting from the chest area so from shoulder to chest i'll be taking away seven inches so to the bust point is 12 inches to under bust 15.5 and then to waist i make it to i made it 20 inches so the same thing at the other side as well afterwards i'll connect all the points with the ruler so from sh I took away shoulder to chest, that's 7 inches. So I started from 7 inches downwards. So from 7 inches to my bust point, 12 inches. And then to under bust, 15.5. And then to waist, 20 inches. Okay, so this is that, that interval. That nipple to nipple is 7 inches. So it's 3.5 plus half inch as sewing allowance. That is 4. So I marked out the, that interval. That's 2 inches. I did the same thing at the under bust okay and then the bust point is five inches because of the bust i wanted it to be poking yeah so it will be poking at the bust area so that the bust can fill in so i'll be doing the same thing on the chest area that's four inches and then that that interval two inches one inch one inch okay so afterwards i'll connect all the points with the ruler and then cut out so as you can see from the bust area the the bust point that or the bust point line is poking yes it's because of the bust so that the bust can fill in and then give you the bust shape okay so i'll be cutting out and then cut out the back as well okay so i'll be cutting out the back i'll be cutting the same measurement for the back as you can see i'm cutting the same thing for the back So after cutting out, the next thing to do is to cut out the dart from the front. So I'm about to cut out the dart from the front. Like this. Okay. Great. The next thing to do is to go ahead and then join the front pieces. So I opened the center front pieces into two and then made sure the side and side, I'll make sure the side and side pieces, the right side faces each other and then I'll so have an inch on the dart line. So I'll make sure the right and right side faces each other, then I'll sew on the dart line, have an inch. Okay. So this is what I have after sewing on the dart line, half an inch. The next thing to do is to go ahead and then shape it. I'm about to shape the front and then the back. Please look at what I am doing. I folded the back into two, the back pieces into two, and the front pieces also into two. Okay, then I made sure the side and side faces themselves. The next thing to do is to go ahead and then slope where the dart points, the dart line starts here. Yeah. So I started from that place and then brought it to the back. I sloped the back. But when I was cutting, I made sure I brought it up a bit. Because if I'm to wear brazier, maybe my brazier's back is going to show. Okay. So I, so I brought it back a bit. So this is what I have after shaping. The next thing to do is to go ahead 
and then locate the zip allowance so i marked out one inch for the zip allowance and then i secured it with my pins like what i am doing so after indicating the zip allowance i then opened the back into two and then placed the right side the front pieces onto it making sure the right side faces each other like what i have done the next thing to do is to go ahead and shape it according to the measurements given that is bust 34 and then waist 28 since it's bastia and also a stretchy fabric the bust 34 i'm going to take out four inches instead of three inches okay and then the waistline the waist area to waist 28 maybe i would take i took out one inch making waist 27 because it's a stretchy fabric afterwards i trimmed off the excess pieces at the edges to make it more neater so the next thing to do is to go ahead and then sew on the lines marked afterwards i divided the back into two okay so at this point i am going to make a long strip so i'll be marking out three inches a long let's say strip or band yeah something like that so three inches interval yeah so as you can see it's a double length when you buy the fabric it's a double length so from the top to down it's like 60 inches so we are going to mark out three inches wide and then 60 inches long we are going to cut about five pieces for me i cut out three pieces and then later realized it wasn't enough so i had to come back and then cut about two pieces in addition okay so you can make yours five pieces that's the 60 inches long okay so this is it i'm cutting out this is what I'm going to use for the flounce or the rows. Okay, so after cutting out, I'll go ahead and then join the middle together. So these are three pieces I cut out. Okay, so this is what I have after joining the middle together. The next thing to do is to go ahead and then draw my design onto the front or the chest of the top that a spiral design okay when drawing the spiral design you can make your interval of about 1.5 inch as you see what i am doing i first drew the round object afterwards i took one side and then rounded it over and over and over to make a spiral design with an interval of 1.5 inches Please make sure your spiral design has the same measurement. I gauged with my eyes, but it was the same interval. So if you can't gauge with your eyes, you just use your tape measure and then mark it. Afterwards, you join the points. Okay, now I'm about to sew the long band onto the spiral design created on the dress so i took one side of the long band and then sloped that very side so i then went ahead and placed it on the very start of the spiral design and then started sewing so i made my pleats so let's say a knife pleat yes so i made my knife pleat along and then sew so please if you are sewing make sure you will be raising the presser foot yeah to give the sewing an ease like what i am doing so i will then go ahead and then pleat along so i'll be pleating along a knife pleat along like this like what i am doing please at this point if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet kindly do so and then press the notification bell to notify you anytime I upload any video and then if you're done watching the video can you like comment and then share to friends so as you can see I am still sewing making my 
box please and then sewing along oh, okay this is time taking and you have to take your time yeah you have to take your time and then do it slowly and then when you're pleating to you should have the same interval like the same amount of pleats so that everything becomes even okay so this is what i have after i was done pleating along so as you can see the center the middle is showing so the what i will do to cover it is i will take um pieces a uh, pieces then a length of about 10 inches i will cut it and then slope one side of the pieces like what i am doing right now i sloped one side of the pieces so the next thing to do is to go ahead and then use my shred and needle to make some guided tacking like what i am doing right now i'm doing some guided tacking so as i'm tacking i'll be pulling through so i'll pull through and then get something like flowers or rose so please watch carefully like what i am doing so this is what i had i got something like this afterwards i placed it at the center of the dress and then secured it in the middle of the top with the thread and needle okay so after securing the middle the next thing to do is to go ahead and then fix my zip okay so since my zip is longer than the top so i'm starting from the very last or the down parts of the zip i'll place it I, I i left about half an inch at the down part of the top that is um, at the waist area i left half an inch and then started pinning my zip onto the back or onto the zip line so as you can see this is another method of fixing a zip in order to get it very neat and perfect so for the beginners who don't know how to fix zip or who don't know how to fix this type of zip fixing i will make a tutorial on it then you would know how to fix it this makes it more neater okay so i'll take it to my sewing machine to sew it down okay so this is it after sewing so this is my zip neatly fixed okay so the next thing to do is to go ahead and then make a long strip for the hand okay so this is it i didn't measure the length i will just fold in like how bias has been folded then i'll fold it into two again and then top stitch great so this is what i have after folded it folding it in and then top stitching so i placed it at the at the point where the dart was joined so the first dart joined i placed one day and then the second dart joined i also placed another one day so when we come to the back i'll measure from the zip line or the center back away 3.5 so i marked my 3.5 and then at the other side too i marked 3.5 okay so as you can see i'm marking out the 3.5 okay so to get the strap measurement you see i took away from the shoulder to the chest seven inches okay since this is a stretchy fabric i'll measure just six inches so i marked out the six inches i folded it in and then brought it to where i marked the back okay so i marked it where it meets afterwards i'll cut it off i'll cut the excess off and leave about one inch excess then i'll pin it together with the top with the back okay so i'll be doing the same thing at the other side 
the same thing so i marked six inches from the chest to the shoulder six inches i marked it with a chalk and then folded it where the six inches ended and brought it to the back then i marked where it also meets at the back and then trimmed off the excess and left about one inch placed it under the top and then secured it with my pins i'll be taking it to my machine to go and secure it down afterwards i will take my thread and needle to finish the very edge of the strips see how beautiful it looks very neat and nice great so this is what i have after going to my machine to secure it and then hemming with the thread and needle so this is how it looks on my dummy yeah for a size 10 and 12 a size 10 can wear a size 12 can wear since it's a stretchy fabric thank you all for watching my videos please hit the like button subscribe comment in the comment section and then share to friends as well press the notification bell to notify you anytime i upload any video